G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to today's edition. Now, improving the way that we communicate internally as part of a project team or a department or a functional area is always an outcome that we wanna try and achieve when we're creating a Microsoft team or a workspace for us to collaborate on and work together in. Now, one of the ways in which we can do that that I'm seeing is very underutilized still at the moment is by utilizing the, the feature of tags in Microsoft. Microsoft Teams. So what tags allow us to do is really segment and group together groups of people inside of a project team, for example, around a specific stream or skill set or function or role in that project. And then we can extend that out to functional areas or departments or things like that too, so that we can really target uh, the communications that we are posting inside of Teams so it gets to the right people. Now, we're always um, there's always a, a comment about being uh, overwhelmed and inundated with notifications or pings, as we say in Teams, when people are at mentioning everyone or the channel or the team itself. And what Teams, uh, what Tags allows us to do is really uh, hone in on the, the right people for that particular post. So that is the focus of today's edition. Let's dive in and get stuck into it. But before we dive in, I want to mention our video sponsor for today. Now, today's video is brought to you by TeamFlect. Now, TeamFlect is an all-in-one performance management software designed specifically for Microsoft Teams. Now, TeamFlect users can create and track tasks, manage goals and OKRs, practice 360-degree feedback, conduct entire performance review cycles, and you can do so much more with TeamFlect without ever having to leave Microsoft Teams. And the best part is TeamFlect is completely free with full functionality for up to 10 users. Not TeamFlect Lite, not a limited trial period, free with full functionality functionality. So you can demo it with a small team for as long as you want, or if you like, then you can even invest in it. So today's video is proudly brought to you by TeamFlect. So tags let you quickly reach a group of people all at once that are members of your team. So let's say we've got a project team and you can see we've structured this in different channels or different streams. But what if we want to communicate just with the people that are responsible for that certain stream of the project and we don't need to really involve other people into the conversation. So with tags, you can categorize people based on different attributes, such as roles in a project, skills, training, or location. So things like this project team here, we could uh, create a tag based on their role. So design, people that are responsible for the design aspect or the go-to-market plan or the digital assets part of this project. So it's going to allow you to reach those groups of people in Teams without having to type every single name in over again. Now, once a tag is added, then you can at mention that in a channel and everyone that's been assigned to that tag is going to receive a notification. And then there's also another way to use a tag uh, when, we can, when we start a new chat and we can select a tag that is assigned to the people that you wanna reach. So let's have a look at how this works. So how we first set things up, we need to actually create our tags. So we can see here that I've got 21 people that are part of this project. So let's segment out this team into different streams or different roles. Now the first one we're going to create is for design. So I'm going to click these three little dots and we're going to click manage tags. Now you can see here, this team doesn't have any tags yet. So we click this purple button and we create our tag. So let's call this uh, the design team. Uh, what we might do is go mark a project team because we might have different uh, projects on the go that have different projects um, inside of different projects as well. So I'm going to leave the description off this tag and then we can start to add people. All right. So let's search for a few members of our team and we'll pop them inside this tag. So we'll go Nesta, we'll go Alex and we'll go Adele. Now we could, if we wanted to post the general channel to promote the tag as well, uh, and then we can uh, include a, uh, a little message if we want to as well. But I'm going to just untick this and we're going to create this tag. So you can see there, we've got uh, the details. There's the tag. There's the members. 
Here's our deleted tags if we wanted to as well. We've got more options over on the right hand side. We can start a chat with the group directly from here and we can create a copy as well. So let's now jump into the design channel and start a new post. So I'm gonna click in start new post. It's gonna open up the new editor. And then what we can do here is we can at mention and start typing design. And what we'll see is we've now got a tag that we can target this communication at. Um, and let's just give this a little bit of a message. Uh, how are we today? And then we can post that off. Now, what I'll do is let me just open up. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll open up Alex's um, team's environment here as well, because he was part of that uh, uh, that tag. So we'll just uh, open up his teams and then we'll make sure that this tag is working. Um, and let me drag his across here. That's now loading. So I'll, um, I'll, I'll, post a, I'll post that message to that tag and what Alex will see because he's part of that tag is a little notification. So that's just initializing right now. So we'll wait for that to, to initialize. That's now loading and we'll just drag Megan's across here like so. And there we've got our two environments here and we will see our little activity feed. So I'm gonna click and I'll post this. So that's now been posted and now what we'll see is because Alex is part of that, he'll get a little notification to say that he's been meant or, or that tag has been mentioned. So you can see in the bottom right hand corner, Megan's mentioned the design team, Mark 8 project. We also get um, an item in the activity feed there as well, where we can go directly to that particular conversation. Now, the beauty about this is that not everybody, now everybody can still see that conversation happening in the design channel of Teams, but the notifications only go to those people uh, that have been assigned that tag. So that means that we can target our communication really nicely and not bombard people uh, with notification after notification. We can really target the people that we want to uh, communicate that message to. So if you're not using tags inside of your team, even if, if your team is, is quite large and we've got different groups of people, then um, this manage tag section, start to create some tags and have um, have our, uh, a conversation or the, the communication targeted at that group of people. Now, the other way that we can do this is that we can start a new chat. So if we start a new chat here, we can actually, actually start that with the design tag, all right? So I'll start typing in design and we can see that I can choose that tag and start a, just a group conversation. Now, remembering this is outside of the team itself and it just starts a new conversation just like a normal group chat, but we've already got the people associated to that tag there uh, in the chat there as well, all right? So there we have it, uh, improving your internal communication with the use of tags in Microsoft Teams really can help streamline that communication and make sure that the messages are, are getting to the right people at the right time and we're not overwhelming or bombarding everybody else in the team with notifications and those messages. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next edition.